Hello guys, welcome to Tino Bo Shop. So today I am going to demonstrate a ruby crystal design right here. This is one of the designs that I will demonstrate at Beauty Show. And I'm going to make a whole set out of it. And if you haven't joined yet, this is a WhatsApp group that you can join. So when we go on live stream, I will go in and alert you guys on when I'm going to be on. So you can take a snapshot of this and you will get alert every time I go on live. And before we start it, I am going to put on my website. Everything I use is at www.tinovo.shop and I will go ahead and pin it down here. Hello everyone. Hello. Hi, Acrylic Claw. Hello, Maria. The nails. Hi, Tara. Let me moderate you. Hold on. Tara. Confirm. Hi, Diamond Nail Strips. Hello, Gifted Hand. Oh, it is 7.30 where I'm at. I have been designing all day long. Video making, of course. Now, I'm going to finish the set. So, this right here is what I get so far out of the Ruby Crystal set. I'm happy with it so far. I will repeat this finger on here so you know how to do that. And then this finger, I will do it on here on the thumb. And then the pinky going to be a surprise at the end. Okay. Hi, Joy Ho. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Let's start with the ruby crystal right away. So, first thing first is I need to create this glacier right here on the bottom. So, I'm having one nail out and I need clear texture gels. This is my clear texture gel. Hi, Majorie. Hello, Carmen. Welcome. Okay. Now, the reason why I use clear texture gel instead of 3D jelly, because 3D jelly is cell level, and I don't want to use anything that is cell level to make the glacier, because what I'm going to do is boot gel underneath, and then I'm going to use saran wrap. And if you use, like, top coat or build a gel or anything that is cell level, it's just gonna thaw out. So you need something that a staple that stands still for you. Hi Diva. Okay, first let's take saran wrap and let's cut some out. Hi Ambers, welcome, welcome. I love this camera. This new uh, phone stand. I can see all the comment here. I have been been planned to come in with this uh Auto phone stand, but this new one are very helpful. My angle position are different too. Okay, I'm gonna cut it out. You just need a little bit of this, that's all. Just like that. Hi, Tracy! Okay, clear texture gel, take it out. If you need a, uh, a brush to scoop it in, I'm going to use an oval brush. Go ahead and take some paper towels. And I'll clean my dip and dab dish. Is Dustin uh, not with you? Yeah, Dustin is here. Yeah, he's here. He's working on a small project. He's uh, he doing the background. Maintenance. Background, background. You know, my brush, when it have glitter, I don't really like to dip it in like this. Instead, I just dip it a little bit and then just wipe with the paper towel. So all the glitter can end up in the paper towels. Oh. I don't want it to be like, contaminate the cup. If I squish it in here, it's, it's going to be glittery. Spanish. See, see. Hola. Mi amor. Okay, put this on the side. Now, take this. Give it a scoop. 
like that. Okay. Then you're going to put it underneath here. Now, you don't need much. You just need enough. You don't need to, like, cake it with gel or anything like that. You just need a moderate layer. That's all. As long as this gel is going to make crinkle and you're going to see the textures. So, you need a tool. I will choose this engraver right here. Where I use. Okay. Clean this a little bit, too. Oh, look, this is Stamot in Espanol. Luego, mi amor. Luego. Pero ahora, uh, hablo en inglés. Luego, hablo en español. Necesitamos, um, va a la escuela. Escuela. Okay. Right here, see that? Now, remember, if you use top coat or build a gel or anything like that, these when you crinkle it, it will tar right out. It's very frustrating. That way you need to use something that just stand there for you. It doesn't it doesn't move anything. Whatever texture you make gonna stay there. Now if I still have my gel low, it's gonna be one more wonderful. Because my gel low I don't even need to use uh saran wrap. However, my gel low have sold out. It's gonna come back soon. It just sold out right now. So right now, I'm just going to use a round wrap for this detail right here. You can <clears> stop <throat> right here. I like to fondle with it a little more. Just to make it um, more in my favor. More special. More icy. I'm going to pick like a pond right here. And I'm going to kind of pull everything into that pond. Like that. Make it extra icy. Like that in your finger to make sure that uh, nothing dripping out okay when you're happy with it you can clear you can flash cure it first and then send your client hand into the machine that way that doesn't mess them up okay now you can put them hand in the machine Okay. Like this. Now we're gonna have a file out just in case anything we drip down the nails, we can file it. Okay, I'm gonna cure for 60 seconds. While waiting, I'm gonna get out jet black for the colors and blood for the uh, for the skin. So jet black, I mean shadow, not jet black, shadow. Okay, I'm going to blend, so I need something that's easy to blend. Shadows, and then I need blood for the skin. Blood right here. Okay, this is out. Time for the reveal. Cuando el lo pone en YouTube lo dice cambia para español. Oh, no sé. Okay, that's just a little bit right here. Okay, the rest of the blessing, the rest, look at how clean the rest is. That's why I take my finger and I kind of push it. If not, you're going to have this, this part right here, but you're going to have a lot of it. So that's why I take my finger and I push it down so it's more clean. See? See all the edge, nice and clean. See that? Even the front is clean too. That's what you want. You don't want to sit there and like file it. Okay, so now we already have this. Then it is time to make the crystals. You look so happy while you thought about that. My love. Every time I think about crystal, I get happy. I know. Okay, so shadow first. Is there any way to create the glass effect without having texture gel under the nail? I don't like the feeling. So, 
if you want, you can have it above the nails, but you have to crump it because if you don't crump it and you put like gel and top coat over it, you're not going to see anything. You know, so if you don't want to do it underneath right here, what you can do is you do it above, but you have to crump it. <clears throat> okay. Now, I'm going to put shadow on. I'm thinking about covering this whole nail bed with shadows. Did you let Tara know that we're on TikTok also? And um, there's a lot of people on there that would love for her attention to be, you know, answer questions. Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, hello, TikTok. Dustin uh, uh, is filming TikTok too. I'm filming Instagram. Right, right. Okay. So when I have my shadow cover, I'm going to blend it out. That's why I use shadow so it's easy blend. Using an ombre brush. Make sure it's nice and clean. And now I'm going to blend it out. Just like this. Thank you. Okay, blend out the bottom too. Just like this. I'm, uh, so you see the bottom right here is really bulky. I'm not going to stuck that in the machine. You know, a lot of people do that. I'm not going to stuck it in. I'm going to take this ombre brush and I'm going to make it thinner. So to, it's keep the shape, you know, on both sides too. One here, one there. Make it thinner. Now here. Can you do it uh, on natural nail or just tip? Just tip. Natural nail is going to be very difficult. Um, if you don't have a clear tip, that's going to be difficult. doesn't mean that it's impossible. If you don't have a clear tip and just like a natural nail, you make the crinkle effect on the nail. But you have to crumb it so you can see the texture. If you don't crumb it, if it's clear and you put top coat or gel color in, you're not going to see anything. It's very undesirable. So this nail right here is easier when your client has clear tip. And if you are press on artist and you sell this as press on, oh, it's going to be wonderful. Heaven. 100%. Because press on people, it doesn't bother them. Mm -hmm. Only people like with acrylic or something, then some people it bother them, then that's too bad for them. But some people it doesn't bother them, then you do it on them. But for press on, oh, people are going to have so much fun with press on. Of course, you're gonna sell it like three or four hundred dollars as luxury press on. Crystal is required. Okay, so now I have the depth. You need the depth. Then, this is when I'm gonna put on my first layer of marbles. So, I'm gonna get out my white ink. Okay, so far, so good. Okay, you remember all the steps? Crinkle. I, I should say glacier. Glacier. And then shadows, okay? Now, this white art ink I'm going to use. Make sure you hold it really tight and shake it. There. Okay. Just curious though, as press on wood, gather does do to the groove of the icy effect? Not really. Only with acrylic. The people that wear acrylic and fake nail, they have to function like every day. You know what I mean? Yeah. But for press on, people doesn't function like that. People wear it like jewelry. Now I'm going to go ahead and have one line. Now, when it comes to ink, you do want to wait for it to dry before you apply a second layer on. So when you apply, don't go too fast. Okay, one, two, and then another one, three, just like that. And you can even tap that tap just to make it really heavy. See that? It's really bright, bright. Okay, now. Mm, but however, I'm going to stroke it a few more just to make it more natural. When you overlap them like that, it's kind of make the marble already for you. 
And on shine, it's react differently than on matte. Okay, down here, um, let's make an opposite pattern than up here. Okay, again, you can tap just to make it really heavy like that. And then I'm going to swipe it on the side here. One, wait for it to dry. Swipe on the other side. Okay. You see the vein and all that marbly pattern. Now I'm going to use my fishtail brush. Okay, I'm going to leave my white ink right here for you. Okay, important moment is a fishtail brush. And I need like a stone. You can use alcohol too. If you use other brush brand, then alcohol is the best. Just in case if the brush doesn't have Aston coating, then your brush will be safe. All the hair not going to fall out on you. Okay, paper towels right underneath. Now, when you dip, you don't want to dip a whole bunch of Aston and then go on it. You want to dip and then you want to sc scrape it up the edge right here. So it's minimal. Then, who's that? Is that, is that Linz? Is Linz on the house or is it Tanya? Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swipe it in. Like from the side, I'm going to swipe it in. Just to see what kind of marble pattern it's made for me. Like that. And now it's going to stir up all the ink so it's going to be wet. Then when it's wet like this, I can go ahead and pull it out. Okay, maybe look closer. You can see it. See up here? I don't like this little wavy. It's unnatural, so I'm going to Swipe it in so it look more marbly. That it. I'm gonna. Hello, the artist. Good day, Tanya. Look at that. Isn't that. It's in life. It's amazing when you don't have to draw. You can just use specialty brush and it do everything for you. Okay, down here you see this little wavy pattern. I hate it. It's so unnatural. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and transform it. There. See that now it's already looks so attractive as marble. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go in. <clears throat> so TikTok people, are we on pause? Just like still? that. Now down here you need to work down here. Up here is already like fabulous. You need to work down here. See that down here? It looks still looks smoky. You need to change that. Okay, so this line is up. This line is gonna be out. Thank you, everyone. You, did you see this marble line? Look at that. Back in the day, I have to like do this manually with gels. Ugh, yuck. Take me forever. Never really guarantee uh, perfection. Everything looks so stiff. What this is look more abstract. It's more fluid. See, you never want to go parallel. Like this line go up here. I'm not going to follow it up here. It's going to look wavy. I'm going to go out like that. Like this. So I'm going to go out. <sighs> Do you see the difference between this and this? And I might look like I'm really try hard. No, not really. I'm just doing this and talking at the same time. That is a beauty. A product without skill. You don't need to like practice this for years. No. You change the right tool, the fishtail brush, I make just for that. You see the difference between this and what down here? Let's go on down here and make some magic happen. Let's give this baby some more colors, some more white ink. Now, when the bottle is out, you cannot shake it. It's going to create a big mess. So what you do, you go like this. You sponge it. So it stir everything up down here. Then you go in and you just lather some more ink on Lather it on. Ooh, overload. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let it dry before you attempt to do anything else. Let it dry. My clothes, just in case accident happened. Okay. Continue with a fishtail brush. 
I'm just gonna show the fish tail just in case Spanish speaker that doesn't understand me can look at the name. Mira, a fish tail. Okay. Are you doing this after you top coat? Yeah. Um, what I'm doing is I put shadow on. Okay, and then I put ink directly on shadow. There's no top coat yet, but shadow is kind of like a top coat because it's no white. Now, on polish, I will be careful because it's dangerous to use stone on polish, but shadow is no white. So it's kind of like a top coat hybrid in a way. So it's safer. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, let, let's plan this out. Uh, this part needs to go up here. Okay, so I can either do this or I can turn my client hand over like this. But for you, I'm just going to try to do this awkwardly like this. Awkwardly. Okay, use a mask on and wash it in. See, that is already like marbly. Wash it in. And when it's wet, when you wake up the ink, you can go ahead and string it out. So acetone won't affect no white gels? Aston wouldn't affect no white gel at all. Or top coat, for or that matter. Or anyway. We can't speak mm -hmm. about the other one. Yeah. For my product, Aston cannot affect really no white product. It's very sturdy. But for polish, it might affect it. Okay, look. Wake it up. When you wake it up, it's going to make the ink wet again. And then you can go ahead and string it out. Okay, you see that marble? Let me zoom in so you can see it. Yeah, i done so many try and error. When I put Aston on polish, cause I, try, I would try everything. I put Aston on polish and sometimes it wrinkle on me. But you, this, you see, shadow is staying strong. That's why we love shadow. I have to reorder shadow again. Shadow will become popular this time at show. The fall, when the fall hit, I work with lab chrome. That's where shadow take the spotlight. Well, we thought 2000 would be enough. Yeah. They show us how quick too. Okay, see this? Marble flawless. It's time for the skin. I'm going to choose blood for the skin. When I say the skin, I mean a layer right on here. Okay, your brush retired on the side. We're going to re revisit it later. I'm gonna retire it right here. Now, is it like the four month long retirement furniture sale? No, I will see it right pretty now. soon. <laughs> I'll see it again pretty soon. I'm just gonna retire it right here. I haven't bought this online yet, but this is insignificant. This is just a tool, a brush holder. I'll put it online later. Thank you, Maria. Okay, time for the skin. So I'm gonna choose blood. Now, with this, I don't recommend stained glass gel number 14 because it's very heavy. It's going to cover all your pressure details. So, blood is a perfect layer for this. Let me zoom in so you can witness the beauty. And blood, when you wipe it with Aston, ultra shine. Just like shine did. Like incredibly shiny. Mm. Okay, now don't go too deep because there's going to be another layer on here. If you go too deep, then this layer will be too dark. I don't want that. Just like that will be fine. Now, what I want to do is take my oval brush and I'm going to like give it a little scoop like that. See that? A little scoop right here. Just so this can maintain clarity. And I need an ombre brush again. Mm 
<clears throat> so they wanted to know about the mystery box, and I told them. Mystery box? Mm, it's a mystery. Yeah, we might not have time for the mystery box. If we do, it's going to be very late to cure this. Because our product are sold out fast. I don't know what's going on this month, but it sold out fast. So, I mean... Like quality? Like yeah, like my blood gel is already almost gone. My sheer black is already almost gone. All the cat eye, the new cat eye, I haven't even put online. And people are so robbing it like crazy. And, and I know that they know my brand because... They buy the new collection more than the old cat eye collection. So I, I know that they must have the old one at home already. I can be coated. Oh. Okay. So. It is time for the second layer of ink. Yeah. Lay is good. Yeah. I, it will probably be late um i really want it to be early for you guys but uh if i can afford it to be late it's better than no box at all probably beginning of october that'll be really late for halloween okay remember see i'm sponging this this art ink i'm using Hola, Anaya. Hola, Anaya Cantara. Okay, I ready? Okay, right here. The, I, I go over this side at first, so now I'm going to go over this side. And go heavy on top, too. Just like that. Down here, I'm going to go over this side. Like that. Okay, add a little more ink. Uh, cat eye at LA, I believe, was the new edition. The cat eye, yeah, I haven't even put online yet. I was prepared for the launch and the mystery box, and I'm going to this beauty show, and I have been bought out. Having fun though. Having fun. Having fun. Yeah, I'm not complaining at all. Mm -hmm. I'm not complaining. I'm loving it. Like we literally double last year. Last year was good too, but this year is like insane. That's why we decided to go for another show in Columbus. Never been there. But all the people in Ohio are so excited. They have been talking to it for a while. But our premiere finally approached us and like, you guys need to go. So here we are. Will you be posting this live tonight? I will be posting the last night live. But last night I haven't posted yet. Okay. Now, are you ready? You see this? We are. Dude, please. Do not think that this is pretty. I will be very disappointed in you. We haven't marbled yet. So don't think that this is pretty. Now we're going to make it pretty. <laughs> see the fishtail brush? And the Aston. Remember, with all my brand, you gotta use alcohol just to be safe. Okay, going, going out and down, I think. Going down and out. Okay. See, so wake it up. You, the head of the fish style brush to give it marble vibe, and then you going down. Oh. <sighs> so easy. I hate marble back in the day. Cause it's, it's difficult and it's unpredictable and it's hard to make a natural marble pattern like this. That's why I have this brush make. It's a secret of the Russian. Russian people use a fish style brush a lot. See that? It's just beautiful. Okay. Now up here, let's turn my client hand over. Mm, wash it in. So, is that better for the TikTok people? Like that. This is experimental. How's TikTok doing? Seems almost happy. Almost um, happy. I'm not good at my camera oh. angles. Yeah. 
Tina on Instagram and Dustin is filming for TikTok. Mm-hmm. So, okay, see that? Ooh, perfect. We like your look day. at that. Mm-hmm. Does it look like little like a root? So I'm, I need some adjustment. I need like you need judgment. Yeah, I need some adjustment. Um, your chicken noodle soup is wonderful. I would love okay. it. I am. <clears throat> we cannot help the flickering rock light at all. Okay. Like this. Mm. Okay, it's good now. I'm happy. See, the bottom needs to be as pretty as the top. Let's go on the bottom. Now, this needs to go all the way up here. I want it to pierce through this darkness right here and make another marble line for me. So, have to wake it up. Wake it up. And don't just lift your brush up the surface. You stay right there. So, all the wet ink can soak up to your brush. So, you have enough ink that you can go ahead and drag up. Oh, Tino loves to cook. The for me, cook? For me. For oh, to cook. Yeah, TikTok wants to know if he likes to cook. I love to cook. I like to eat. Okay, see that? Marble line. Now, I want another line right here intruding all the way up here. So, take out my stone, wake it in, wake it up like this. And... You like it. Now, you see this brush? I don't really go like this. Because this is boring. I go like this. I don't go like that. You know, go, it's so parallel. I'm, I'm going out and then I'm starting to do this. And then I go out again. And then starting to go sideways. So the line is like open and close, open and close. So it looks like marble. Okay, so you have to watch how you move your brush like this. See, I'm moving sideways, moving back and forth. Uh, down here, something. Wake it up. Use your eye. It depends on how how much taste you have. I wouldn't say that I have impe- impeccable taste. So, so you have a chance. You just have to look at marble and just think of what's sexy. What 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 is a good marble? You know, when you work. You you look more on your your marble than on the brush. See that beautiful. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put some blood in. Using blood, opened it. I always gonna shake it up just a little bit like this. You like it acrylic claw? I like this setup. They may not. Love it, but... Okay. Who? TikTok or Instagram? Uh, TikTok. Oh, oh. TikTok is just extras. I'm doing the Instagram live and Dustin say, might as well go on TikTok. Right, right, right. So... It's just extra. It's optional. A extra for you guys. Yeah. And gals. Cause I like to do Instagram live more. See, my Instagram camera is right here. It's our comfort zone. Instagram people have been heyday with this. Mm-hmm. I have new camera angle for Instagram peoples. TikTok people is on my right hand. My, they might not see it much at my left hand. Oh, <coughs> look at that, you guys. Okay, brush it all in. And if you want... You can make a little thinner for that, for this part right here, the butter. where the glacier is. Yeah, it's a blood, it's blood gels. Okay, I'm gonna make this marble just a little thinner so you can s- still see the the uh, crinkle. Now, as I said before, don't just put it in right away. You make sure you watch the tip, 
Make sure it's not too bulky. And you want to side. And then Kia. Beautiful. Okay. Next, do you see this part right here? I'm going to make this part the gold uh, rim. I card it. See this? Let me show the TikTok people too. You see this? Okay. Where's the TikTok camera at? Right here? Right here. Right here. Oh. Yeah, perfect. Wow. <laughs> it's behind yeah. me. <laughs> Quit moving. <laughs> okay. So, we're done with blood for now. Now, it's time for chrome. So, I need to take chrome out. I need chrome base. Okay, see my chrome base right here? Mm -hmm. I need chrome base. And I also need gold chrome. See my gold chrome? Let me show TikTok people too. So it is flickering a little bit on TikTok. Um, it is clean and crisp on Instagram. Lynn Satino, do you reckon you could dilute the red 14 which shined it and add a little orange stained glass? Ooh, Did I like this kind of pot for this blood gel. So I would say, Lynn's, that you can take 14, you dilute it. Um, orange or brown? Okay, number 12 might work better than orange because this is a red oxide. A red oxide is different than the cherry red. Like 14 is like... When you dilute it, it's like a pinkish fuchsia, which is still pretty, but this is like blood. That's why I named it like that. It's blood. It's oxide. And I love all the oxide color. I love yellow oxide, red oxide. I don't even know if blue oxide exists, but if it is, I love it too. Chrome base coat. Okay, now I am going to shake this up. You can do this, or you can take the lid out and do this. Apply this all over the nails. Work in the cuticle, going all the way down. So this chrome base coat can serve as your top coat too. Okay. So after this coat, you don't have to put on uh, a top coat if you don't want to. I put on chrome base coat so it can work well for my chrome. So ER nails on TikTok. Uh, yes, it will be avail soon available on Instagram and then YouTube. Yes. Okay. See how I make sure I pay attention to my tips and everything. I think smooth, flawless Kia. And who doesn't love a strobe light? You like my bottle? Thank you. Mm. I further I go, I pay attention to more bottle design. I don't really pay a lot of attention. I, I do pay some attention. I just don't pay a lot of attention to bottle and packaging at most at what inside the bottle. Because a lot of people have like pretty bottle and packaging but like crappy product. So I focus more into the product. And then later on, I can dress up the well, bottle anytime. Harley loves your bottles. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Harley. Thank you. Nice, nice. Okay. Now it's done curing. It's time for my goal. Um, take this out and I need a shadow applicators mm. okay and mm, I do need a paper towel just in case I make mess so rub on my gold chrome on this side Uh, Tara, if you can tell me how to adjust the flicker, that's fine. I would love that kind of advice. The ear of nail. Okay, just like that. And I might need a little down here too. Let me see. Let me see if it's attractive enough. 
down the bottom right here. <clears throat> Okay, let me let me see. Um, maybe maybe not. We just leave it there just to see. It's time for us to dust this. Close this. You are fluffy dust, so it doesn't brush out your chrome. Oh, I, I see one of my ex-clients the other day. Oh, goodness. I, yeah, I visited awesome. one of my ex-clients yeah. the other day, and she had mm. chrome on her nails. And it she was, says, this is horrible. I said, it was... I said, what do you mean? I said, what do you mean? It's horrible. She's, she's like, look at it. I'm like, it's beautiful. And when I see it up close, the chrome low, you have scratch it on it. She said, I walk out of the salon like this. Like, what you mean? So I, I didn't really think much about it. But when I later, when I get home, I like, he must have used a really rough brush. And when he does, he makes scratches. Mm -hmm. So I need clear texture gels. You can use top coat right away. What I do is that I use top coat to apply on here and then I cure and then I remove the rest of the chrome. But I add a line of texture gel first just because if you top coat alone, it's very unpredictable. It's fluid. It's too fluid. Mm -hmm. So I use texture gel because it's more stable and it give me sort of, um, it give me control so the line can be however I want it to be. And then I will top coat on afterward. So I need a painting brush for that. This is my painting brush, 10 millimeters. Make sure I clean this. Okay, now I'm gonna open clear texture gels. Okay, let me zoom in for you guys. There you go. Mm. Boy, that chrome looks so beautiful. Let's draw out a pattern. I tend to not go very smooth on these because I want it to be like a rocky marble look. Going down. Okay, I'm going to cure this. One, two, three. One, two, three. Take it out. Thank you, Tara. Then I am going to use top coat now. So retire my clear texture gel on the side. <clears throat> Where's my top coat? This is going to be shanded that I'm using. Hi, Mama Vic. Hello. Hard working lady. Instagram is busy tonight. Okay. Mm -hmm. So is TikTok. Shanded. Apply from the cuticle down, okay? And when you meet the clear texture line, stop right there. Okay, stop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Double vision. So if we sing, is that... Copyright infringement. Yeah, we can we cannot have any music. Cause we cannot save these live, and YouTube don't like music that not belonging to them. <clears throat> oh, Cindy wants to know. Other Cindy, um, the technique you did yesterday can One, be done two, with three. ink as well. One, two, three, Kia. The technique I done yesterday, mm -hmm. there's no ink in it. This one right here, there's no ink um, in it. Well, she's wanting to know if it could be. No, it, it, there's nothing about this that are ink related at all. Mm. Yeah. Ink only work with marble. This don't have any marble. It's just a nice sheer skin. You need stained glass gels. And then clear texture gels are what you need. But no ink are involved in this. Okay, cure this. Yeah, the only the technique today have ink because these quartz. 
the one yesterday doesn't. It's not a quartz. It's just a mermaid. It's yes, a, di- a mermaid. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, this is a habit of mine. When I top coat like this, I need. I tend to need another layer, just because I don't know which part already top coat and which part not. Sometimes on chrome, it can be slippery. <coughs> And I don't want any spot to be removed up here at all. I'll make sure everything is nicely top coat. Oh. They said, if we sing, our voices are so great, we'll probably be copyrighted. Hear this. Really? Yeah. It's because of my amazing voice. My one-of-a-kind voice. Very controversy voice, too. So, someone was asking about how long it takes you to do a particular nail set. So, Two and know a half. this. Um, Tino usually has four to eight sets going on at one time. He's mm-hmm. truly all over the place. So. Yeah. I'm a speed demon, you guys. Speed demon. Back in the old day when I still working for my client, I've been named a speed demon. Mm-hmm. Now that I retire and I... Start to teaching. I'm I'm nice now, but back in the day, whew, you're nice. <laughs> I am like, go, honey, go. Let's snap, snap, snap. Back in the day, I say two and a half hour for each one of my clients. Lux, that was before I teach and everything. Honey, Lux Lisa says, please let Tino know that Teflon Matt is a huge game changing, life changing. Yes, you know, I'm glad. Okay, Aston in. Everybody loves Teflon Matt. If I'm doing that chrome part on a client, should mm-hmm. I put sticky and then top coat so yes. it doesn't chip? Um, if you do it on the tip like this, yes. But if you design like this and it's on the cuticle, no. Your chrome only chip when it's near the tip like this. But anything in the middle of the nail or anything on the cuticle, you don't have to worry about that at all. You just double top coat it, that's it. But on the tip, what happened is they go home, they start scratching. Like like you ever do a square nail set for your client and then they come back and it's become like scovo or round it's because they're scratching. So that's dangerous right there near the tips. But anything other than that, totally fine. Now, if it's texture then you, you really, uh, I recommend doing two coats. So they don't like bump in the nail like this on stuff like that, and then it's chip up like that. Not the chrome fall. It just sometimes they very rub on texture design. You know what I mean? So if it like embossed like this nail right here, then two coat will be very healthy. See this? It's have embossed. Two coat will help protect that emboss. Like it? Now we're gonna move on to the next design. Oh. Before we move on, mm-hmm. interesting question from uh, Lisa. Let's see. Okay. She said, if a client wants a ugly design, yes. do you ever try to change their minds? Yes, I do. I do. Uh, it's a lot of manipulation. It's, but it's necessary because, you know, people that go get nail done don't have taste or style. They just go, they just do what other people do. So as a designer, it's your job to take that duck and make it into a swan. Oh. To manipulation, you know, to words. Kiss the frog. Yeah. You need to. You need to turn that duck into a swan. They don't know. They just go with the flow, with... Whatever it is that people in the town do and all that, you have to change that. So, environmental influence. <clears throat> because people want things. People want this, people want that, people want that. They're going to try to fit it all in their nail, and that is a no-no. So, as a designer, what you do is you use your art, and you post it online so everybody can see your art. So, you're creating art. They're not. They're just shopping, basically. They're shopping for design. And they will want everything on their nail. And that's a no-no. You have to talk them out of it. Yeah, yeah you'd be like, oh, I couldn't think of anything on the spot. I have faith in you. You can do it. You can do that. 
Turn that duck into a swan, honey. Good day, adventurous Aries. Hi, adventurous Aries. Okay, this now, I'm going to make it all gold. Here. I can't even. <laughs> yeah, nice, nice. Okay, I'm going to make this go too. They both kind of be like this, but not really. Okay, it's going to be gold gilded and everything, the whole nine yard. Um, and then I'm going to put like blood gel somewhere in here to make like surface like this. Isn't that red pretty right in the Beautiful. gold? Maybe that's why you're so loud. Yes. Isn't that kind of pretty? Perfection. Perfection. <clears throat> Hey, Tino, I hate to bother you, but your voice sounds so raspy. I feel like your husband has not given you enough water. My voice is wow, raspy? That's, that's, that's rude, but, you know. Well, My voice is raspy. He said water will help. You mean yes. it's deep? Um, I, I have you know, waiting for it for years. <laughs> I asked my mom, I said, Mom, why is my voice so weird? Everybody thinks it's weird. And she's like, no, honey, it's just puberty. You just wait until your puberty is all be gone. I'm still waiting for my puberty. Mm -hmm. It just never come. It just never get deeper. They said water will help. Sometimes I smoke extra cigarette just, just oh. so it get deeper, but no, not really. Would you like to tell them how you smoke like a French Hear guy? this. <laughs> Excuse me, excuse me. Okay, now. Mm. Okay. Now, I am need my gold chrome out. I'm gonna take shadow applicator, rub on my gold chrome, and then rub it on here, on the surface. It might seem like I go up and down, but no, I'm actually going in circular motion. Just so you know, the circular motion are way more effective to me than up and down motion. Hmm. Circular motion makes sure that I get all the chrome to lay flat against the nail surface and make it extra mirroring. And I use small particle chrome so it doesn't get glitters. Uh, it doesn't get like shimmery or glittery when I put on top coat. This one too. Same things. Oh, guess what? This time at the show, uh, silver sold more than gold. Mm -hmm. We got all these stained glass. I use silvers. They buy more than gold. Never imagined silver go faster than gold. Uh, is that a new gold chrome and shadow? No, it's not new gold chrome. I have this for a while. I have this gold chrome for a while. It's my favorite shade. It's not too yellow, so it looks classy. What gel you put it on matter too? Because some gel you put chrome on and it's like glittery. Look at how these shadows treat this chrome. Mm -hmm. So shiny. Beautiful. Okay. Now, I'm going to dust this. Make sure you dust underneath and everything, too. Like this. Chrome nice is one. chroming. <laughs> nice. Okay. This one, too. Make sure I dust it. And I need to. Okay. Now I need a empty shadow applicator. A clean one. That have nothing on it. Then I go in and I rub it on my chrome. 
just to further remove any excess dust on it. You know, sometimes there is extra dust that your eyes just couldn't see. And when you put on top coat, what happens is it's going to flow up to the surface and going to make it so shimmery. So you have to make sure that you carefully re eliminate all dust. Make sure it's all gone. There. <clears throat> then... What we're going to do ne next, let's dust it a few more times. What we're going to do next is we're going to add texture. So I need my black texture textures. I hear this is a new one. Uh, the new one doesn't have the effects on it. The new one just texture gels. And I'm going to use it for embossed. Well, my old one, I use it mostly for engrave. This one can engrave and emboss at the same time. So I'm going to use that. I need a palette to take this out. Give it a nice little stir. And a little scoop. <coughs> so, TikTok people, is this acceptable? Do you feel comfortable with this uh, camera angle? <laughs> You better say yes so or else we'll turn it off. That's pretty much it. And be like, you never see us again. Cause TikTok are optional. Yeah, we don't. Okay, now. I am going to fondle with this thumb first. Um, I am going to make a circle up here. And then maybe, maybe a little down here. Maybe two circles. Okay, my painting brush, 10 millimeters. I'm going to draw a circle. Make sure that it's perfect too. And I'm drawing on top of, uh, not on top of raw chrome, so I have to be extra careful. If I have to wipe this off, that doesn't work. I'm going to wipe the chrome up. Oh, Pamela says I feel comfortable wherever Tino's speaking. Oh, I love you, Pamela. That's sweet. Okay. Oh, look at that. It's already like almost perfect. <laughs> Everything is perfect, babe. Okay. Not a circle, an oval. Then. Are you excited about Ohio? I am very excited. I Ohio. am too. I don't know why. I I never I, been there before ever in my life, and people keep talking about it. Like, you know, go to Columbus, Ohio. Go to Columbus, Ohio. So now, time have come. Ohio are really excited to see us too. We already have like all kind of DM asking information and all that. People buying tickets left and right. Premier, I guess last year they also go to Ohio. That I don't know. Okay, now I'm gonna wipe. I'm basically what I'm doing is I take gel and I just add it on to the to the line right here, just because I can make it really uh make it um not really thick but thick. I can make it really thick. I keep saying really. I can make it thick. <laughs> not really thick like three D jelly, but I can make it thick. I can make it emboss. Mm. So, normally I would think, yes, you have to have a steady hand. But if you watch one of Tino's uh, structural videos on YouTube and mm -hmm. or one of the highlights on line work with the brushes, you kind of don't have to have a shaky, you know, no. you have a shaky hand. You Do you think I have good. a stable hand? I mean, I drink, like, caffeine every day. <laughs> <laughs> right. And when I'm hungry, I'm extra shaky. You have to watch the land work video that I have. Okay, I'm thinking another one. But this one, I want it to be more oval than the, the last one. More uh, slimmer. Just tuned in. What products are you using on 
Instagram. So currently he is using black texture of uh, nice black texture, texture gel. Effect. Black Over texture gel. Chrome. Yeah, black texture gel. Uh yes, now last his brain absolutely is working twenty four seven. But the way he pulls in his inspiration is through everything he loves. Yes. Which I've never seen a picture of me up there. What does that mean? Gosh. Hmm. What does uh, that mean? It's a mystery. No, I really. It's been like. Okay, now I am going to add more over this, uh, this right hand sign right here. Just more. Make it thick. And if the flickering is bothering you on TikTok, just blink in unison and you'll never know mm -hmm. what happened. Just blink quick. Instagram doesn't have that problem. That's why I like live on Instagram. That's why I uh, quit doing TikTok for a while because it's uh, flickering. Okay. Now... I am going to design around it. So let's think about a pattern for <clears> us. <throat> I love the new texture gels. I played with my green one today. I love them. <gasps> oh Aren't they smooth? I love the green colors. Right I yeah. love the green colors. Yeah. Okay, you're drawing two lines. That's a start. Then I'm gonna uh, go ahead and draw, connect these two right here. Connect these two two. Beautiful. Not yet, not yet. It's not. Not yet. I feel like it is though. It's under conjunction. Oh. And then I am going to. Go ahead and um, draw a V-shape from up here going down. I would like to apologize to all the people that was liking this on TikTok. Um, no, I'm sorry. It's ugly. Just wait a minute. It's a beautiful <laughs> thing. As we get beautiful soon, it's still under construction. It's under construction. There's no reason to like it yet. No, not yet. I hate it when my client like. Like, when I'm doing this, and they're like, oh, my God, that's so gorgeous. And I have to question myself. I'd be like, right, right. should I leave this black, or should I make it go? Right, right. Now, should I shatter her dream? <laughs> I think it's even better. Is, is the okay, now I am have. going to make another line parallel to this line underneath here and going all the way down, just like this. And then the other side, I will make it parallel. Just like this, all the way down, and then we gotta do something up here. Let's connect these like that. They look kind of like Egyptian ish. Okay, this one going out from here, going out. might be one of my love for Egyptian design that make it turn out like this. Go now again. Go now again. And then the top, let's do like a curve or something. Hello, Utah. Huh? Hi, Utah. Are you going to go to Ohio to see me? Is Utah and Ohio close? No, honey. Utah is where um, I did the... Spilled the glitter. Oh, right Salt Lake City. And I was like, I cannot believe nobody honked at me. I love so I love people in Utah. People in Utah doesn't honk at us when we do bad driving. I, I wouldn't say it was bad driving. I, I would say it was I in. am going to curve right on this side. And let's give it another design right down here before we clear. One. Two. Okay. Now. I'm ready to clear. Go ahead and clear this. 
Okay. This right here. Same thing, but slightly different. Um, let me see. This finger already have red. I have to have some red on this finger, but not as much. Definitely not the same. Um, I'm thinking up, up here, maybe. Let's try that. Verify and continue. Verify what? Okay, so I am going to start from the cuticle and draw an oval. You don't have to make it thick yet. You can make it thick later. Draw another oval here. So for TikTok people, um, something's happening. They want me to verify something, and oh, the puzzle, yeah. And there's a puzzle. You have, you and have to I draft. Not good at puzzles, so. Oh, that's how I end it. Okay, now. Wow. Thank I you. am gonna add texture into this line. Okay, go ahead and let let me see if it even. See, that's more on the right side than on the left side. So let's adjust this line before we continue. Let's add more to the right. Like that. Then I'm adding more to the right one. Okay, now on the left, you add to the left, it's the same, but Instead of going outside like this, you're going inside. So now it's return the balance to the design. Like that. See that? Now, add it and make it thick. Okay, so the the blood gonna be right in here. So down here you can design whatever you think fit. Drag out two line with your black texture shells. Black texture gel right here, just for newcomer they can see it. There. Okay, going down. One time, two time, again on the other side, one time, two time, and then I am going to make a sway land right here, another land oppositely from the other side, going in, and curve. And then I am going to go out again, one, another one on the other side. Okay. Then a V shape in here. One, two. Should I stop stop or should I keep going? I'm gonna do a uh, two curve down here. One two and then I'm gonna do an opposite V from underneath I go up from underneath just like that. And then a curve right in the middle of that V. Make it parallel with another curve. Make it thick. There. Make it emboss. And I am gonna go out on each side.
and then I'm gonna go down with a V. And one on this side, another one on this side. Okay, here. Now the magic is ready to happen. So we're gonna chrome this, of course. Close my black texture gels. Close this. Take out your gold chrome and chrome this. Ah, oh, my favorite part. Just to see it come to life. See all the textures become gilded. Now go uh, rub it again in small circular motion just to make sure that it cover all corners. Uh, rub it in. Oh, on this side too, rub it in. Now, that's this. Okay. Then, I'm going to dust this in small circular motion. And, again, thoroughly. See, I'm going to go over it again. This time, I make sure that I dust very thoroughly. All speck of dust to be gone. Let's put it here. That's the way I'll crumple my tables. Let me see. Oh, I can't wait to see this whole set. Okay, put it here. This one crumble too. So you don't need to take more chrome. You just use what you already have. The less dust, the better. Less, less established that. Minimum amount of dust. That's why solid chrome. Until this day, I still like solid chrome more than loose chrome. It's just that sometimes I need loose chrome for certain effect. And sometimes certain color, they cannot do it in solid chrome. Like my unicorn chrome. It's a solid chrome. And it's like glass. That I like it the most. And then there's my mermaid chrome. It's a loose chrome. So it's stronger than my unicorn chrome. But I still like unicorn chrome the best because it's like glass chrome with a little tint to it. Coral unicorn chrome, my favorite. Go ahead and dust it small circular motion. This will be set number one. I have um, five sets that I have to get done tonight. So four more sets. Yeah, I, I want to dust it again. It make me anxious. It have to be absolutely perfect. I don't want it to become like shimmer just from a little extra dust on the surface. I don't want that to happen. Okay. Now. Oh, acrylic cloth. I really want the liquid chrome too. Blah, blah, blah. So let's say I want everything up to you now. <laughs> Liquid comb, liquid comb, the benefit from it um, is it have adhesive in there, so it's chip, chip proof. That's the only thing I like about it, besides the flawless finish. But I I do a lot of art, chrome, like chrome art, like design like this, so liquid comb doesn't serve me a purpose when it comes to art. Because liquid comb can only apply on uh, four covers. And I really like art like this. Now, I this is clean. It don't have any chrome on it. What I do is rub over it so it can further remove any speck of dust that are in here. I want it to be completely squeaky clean with no dust at all. Everything needs to be clean. Okay. It is time for our blood gel. Got my blood gels. I 
want to stud right here. Stud it up just a little bit. And let's put it on a nail art palette. I'm waiting for Linz to mix a red with an orange. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> So we have a Harley <coughs> Davidson program in the parking lot. And, uh, oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, I better use my coloring brush. Just because it can absorb like liquidy gel much better. Hey, let me show you. Coloring brush is what I use. Let me show TikTok too. Coloring brush. Okay. Then I'm going to put on blood gel right here. Go around <laughs> first. It is best if you don't touch uh, the edge of the emboss. It's okay if you do, but then everything has to touch the edge. So right now, I'm just going near the edge, but I'm not touching the edge. But if you touch the edge, that's fine. You just have to make sure everything is uh, cohesive. Can I fill it in? Let's cure this first. I'm going to do the small one. Okay, let me touch the edge for you so you can see. See, I'm touching the edge. That's fine. You just have to make sure everything touches the edge. That's it. If you're not making a mistake, you just... It's uh, slightly risky for beginner to touch the edge. In a way, it's going to make it prettier, but you don't want to spill it out, you know? Okay, cure this. Okay, time to complete this one also. Oh, see, this one is spilling and touch the edge, so now I have to make sure everything touch the edge. So it's look even. Stir it up here, make sure that it's touch all the wall, up everything around it, all the embossed there. It's going to give you a nice little shadow near the edge too. Cure this. Okay, now what I do, I do not a layer. <laughs> I love your nail art. It's so demure. Thank you. Care this. Okay, now the second coat on the top. Let's touch the edge on all of them then. When you go, you already done one, you can go for all of them. Begin to be careful, don't let it spill over the line. Then that's it, you're done. But you cannot wipe it off, remember? So you have to be extra careful. But oh, everything around this is raw chrome. It hasn't been top coat yet. You don't want to have to wipe up anything. Because then you wipe the chrome up. Hear this? Should I call this mirror mirror? Would that be nice? A nice name for it? Let's see. Oh, yes. I love it. Um, Should I have some red down here? Maybe all along this side. Mm, or all gold, let me see. No, just one will be, uh, be good, I think. Yeah, just one. 
The rest can be just go gilded. Okay, wait for the other one to cook, and we're ready for top coat. And as I said earlier, you see all these embossed, all these lander embossed. So what happened is your client will hit the nail like this, again the wall, just again everything. They're very clumsy. So when it's flat, it's okay. But when it's raised, sometimes I hit it so hard that it's chipped up just a little bit on the embossed surface. So two to two coat of top coat is recommended. This one done. Oh, I haven't do the bottom yet. Let's add another layer of blood in the bottom. In the color is beautiful for blood. Oh, feel it all the way in. Sure everything is nice and cohesive. Okay, this. It don't have to be that perfect for your client. But for Instagram or for a feature set, you know, for a photo app, it has to be flawless. Okay. I'm ready to top coat this and move on to another set. My new set and uh, my next set will be this. And then the, oh, I can't wait to do this. Okay, so let's top coat this. Shand it. Let this out. Now, we're going to top coat this. Mm, I want to show you this, and it's crucial. When you go, when you do emboss pattern, you see these two lines right here. One, two. If you go like this, you might brush over these two lines and there might be empty spot right here in between. So what you need to do is you need to go parallel with these two lines like that. So it can flow into the crevices. Okay. So when you top coat emboss, you need to be conscious of your line on the surface, how it is. And you need to make sure top coat is everywhere. Mm, that doesn't mean to cake it on. You can cake it on like this, like that. But then you have to remove excess. Like, let me cake it on. Entire nail like that. You can cake top coat on. But then you have to come back and remove excess uh, top coat. Because you don't want it to be too cakey. Okay. It's probably the easy way to fill in all the crevices. To cake it on. But then you have to come back. And you have to remove a little bit on the side like that. When top coat is already on everywhere, you come back and you just remove. See, you can remove and gel. Remove this one too. And if you don't use small particle chrome, then you really don't want to boot it back into the bottle. Cause I use small particle chrome, so my top coat not going to be contaminated. But if you use like a big particle chrome, ooh, especially if you see it become glittery, that's mean your brush have be contaminated. Look at this chrome though. Look at how solid it is. That's the difference between quality of a rough particle chrome and a small particle chrome. The difference is when you top coat it, beautiful. Here. Cause back in the day, I use like big particle chrome, and when I top coat it, when I rub it on, it's like satisfying. But then I want to top coat it, I'm like, what the heck? It's all like glittery on me. It's so like undesirable. Okay, apply a little gold going down. You need to brush it parallel to like this, or you can just cake it on first and then remove, whichever you like. See, Let's see, parallel to the line. Make sure everything is parallel. Or you can just cake it on like this. To make sure that it's cover everything. And then you can remove. Whichever work on your client hand. Whichever way is easy for you. See, I'm going back and remove extra top coat. Okay. And remember, big particle chrome, you need to take a palette and you remove it down here. 
put it down on the pallet and set it back in the bottle. But if you use big particle chrome, I recommend to invest on small particle chrome. Big particle chrome just doesn't work at all in general. Even with loose chrome, I still find the one with fine particle. So you just remove like that. So now I can feel the texture when I press through it. Here. That's what happens when you help Harley. Now. Okay. Now, you feel the texture of fancy. I recommend the second layer of top coat just because it's very healthy for texture chrome, for chrome texture. I recommend the second layer. Now, the second layer is not tricky like the first layer. The second layer, you can apply really thin. But you can take a small amount of top coat. You can just drag it like this. You know, you can press it really thin on the nail because the chrome is already protected. So you don't have to worry about messing up the chrome. So now you can just like wiggle it all the way in like that. Make sure it's going into this, all the crevices. Second coat is, you're going to have a blast putting on second coat. The first coat is tricky. You have to be careful. But the second coat, you see, I'm going to press it really into all these crevices. Make sure that everything is well covered and protected. Look like a million dollars, isn't it? These nails. <coughs> I love <coughs> designs that are like regal, that make me look like a queen, you know. Oh, I'm already, I am one, but make me look extra queeny. Okay. Mm. So you're done. See, this top coat is cell level, so when you're done like that, you just wait a little bit. Just wait like two seconds, and it's all like level out and then you can cure. See my side? See, I put on like crazy. The amount of top coat I put on is crazy. You see my side? All oh, sharp, clean. Even the edge Perfect. of the tip. Increase. Perfect. So is that what you need? That is a skill that you need to hone. Is how to maintain nice shape. Okay, second coat on these fingers. See, when I brush, my my top coat over the nail surface. I'm very conscious of the side. See right now I'm working it in. You see that? I'm working it in. Working it in. It can be rough because it's already been covered. It can be really rough on it. See that? So anytime you apply top coat over chrome, if you're afraid, don't worry. You just if you're afraid of like ruining it because of your brush stroke, all you need to do is spend the the first coat, you be careful. You don't even have to like reach up to the cuticle. You can go near the cuticle and you should go down one, two, three, briefly. And then here, and then the second coat, you can really pay attention because it's already been secure. But my chrome is, is make things so much easier. See, it, it looks like I haven't even put top coat on. Most people, when they yield like Unquality chrome when the boot top coat on it literally look like glitter you guys it's crazy that is make no point at all to chrome something make it on shining beautiful and then have it so glittery and most people think that that's just the way it is you know that's just the way that's just how it's go mm -mm. quality chrome is all shiny always see like a fresh layer of chrome okay now. Go ahead and clear. Okay. We are done with the first set. Okay, second set. I am going to show you this. This is an invert pigment. Just because when I, when I have color over nails, if I you knew to draw like this flower right here, but you knew <coughs> it's not as effective because nudes are great. So it can look natural. So it's when it's on color, it's not going to be pure nude. It's going to mix with the color underneath and it's going to be a little dark, you know. So <clears throat> this right here, I did not use nude to draw it on. I, I use a technique called an invert pigment 
So I'm gonna guide you through this next. Okay, and uh, let me put this right here. And before I go off this live and go back on, I'm gonna show you the WhatsApp group again. Okay. okay, so this is my WhatsApp group. Let me show to Instagram first. Okay, so this is my WhatsApp group, and <clears throat> anytime that uh. I go on live, I go into this group to alert people. So you can take a screenshot of this and join this group for free. And whenever I go on live, you will get an alert. And you will get alert when I got important thing happen. I will alert you. Okay. So let me what, show what's up. What would you put on those if you had rhinestones? What, what's that? So somebody's asking about rhinestones where you would put on <clears throat> that color if you were going to... Mm, if I have rhinestone, it will be red too. It will be ruby red. Ruby red or cyan? No, light cyan. Sorry. I call it ruby just because of the colors. But um, light cyan is the true red. Let me show you. You, you want light cyan. Here. This is light cyan. Light Cyan. Like scarlet will be like slightly pinkish ish. Um, cyan will be too dark. <clears throat> you have to choose light cyan. Light cyan is a true like red, like pure red. It's pretty in Christmas. It's pretty in Valentine. It's pretty in Halloween. It's pretty in fall. Even summer, you see can you light cyan. My favorite. My favorite in the red spectrum. Okay. So for Instagram, I will go up live and, and I will go back on. Let me go ahead and take this now out. Uh, if you're on TikTok, you can just leave it. Uh, but for Instagram, I have to go back out and go back in. So we have separate live. Because when I post it, I don't want to post live. I have two designs. So... One design for each live. Oh, you guys, look at this set I did yesterday. I am so, like, hypnotized by it. Anxious. <coughs> like this, look. Oh, this is what dream is made of. Oh, I cannot wait for this to be on my hand. Let me show TikTok, too. Mm. Look at that. Mm. Beautiful colors. This is Mystic Siren. I'm gonna call this uh this red um what did I name it? I forgot. Egyptian Home set. Homewrecker? No, no, this this set right here. I forgot. Okay, look at that. Oh my god. Mm, ruby red. Miro on um, Miro Miro is what I'm gonna name it. Miro Miro. Mirror, mirror. Mirror mm -hmm. on the wall. Who the fairest one of oh. all? That biggie bed. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And this red crystal is one of the technique, the salon ready technique that I will demonstrate in Ohio. <clears throat> Among others. And I cannot wait to get to the mahogany lux right here. This mahogany lux. Oh, I love it. Okay, so I'm going to take these out. Continue my next live stream. Gonna put this in. Thank you, Phoenix Nails. Mirror, mirror is a name. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's? Who the fairest one of all? Oh. I love the um, mirror, mirror with Julia Robert. Uh, Julia Robert, the one with the horse tea. Oh, I love her. Horse teeth? Yeah. She has horse teeth. That might, what make her pretty. Okay, I'm going to put all my gel back in before I go off. And when I go off, I go right back on in like two seconds. So if you're in Instagram and watching, when I go up, you go up with me. And then you wait like five seconds and you go back in. Ten seconds, something like that. Uh, yes, we're coming to Ohio. Um, yes. 29th and 30th, we, we will be at Premier. 
Yeah, Premier Beauty. Beauty show in what was it? Columbus. <clears throat> Is that it? Columbus, Columbus Ohio. Ohio. You just go on Google and you type in Columbus, uh, Premier Beauty Show Columbus. It will pop on right away. Mm-hmm. And you can buy ticket to go to Beauty Show in Columbus and we will be there at booth 1127. Okay. Uh, let me put all my brush back in. Brush holder also sell very well at the show. Everybody loved the way I, I love organization. Well, before I put it all in like in like one container, and when I I chew my brush, I have to like try to find it among these. Well, now it's separate. And what I do is I put the I put the short one in front and the tall one behind, so I can grab and reach and get the tall one, or I can put it on two different row like this. And take this one. Take this one. Okay, so next design I need uh, blue pigment. I'm gonna work with pigment next. Okay, all right, Instagram. I'm gonna get up now and I will get right back on. Okay, bye bye. I will see Five you in just minutes. in just a few seconds. I will see you. I'll get up now. <laughs> 